In this lesson, we're going to be talking about point-slope form of a linear equation. There are three forms of a linear equation, and we've already learned about slope-intercept form, and we will be learning about standard form. So this is the second form of the three. Point-slope form is used mainly when you're given um, or you're provided with a point, which is a coordinate, and a slope. Um, and it kind of fits the name point-slope form. And this is the formula for point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1, where X1, Y1 represents the coordinate point and the M represents the slope of the line. Let's go ahead and see if we can construct um, an equation in point slope form given the information below. Let's look at this first one. Notice that we have a coordinate point and we have a slope. If you have a point and a slope, you can put it into point slope form. The coordinate represents our x1, y1. So let's go ahead and represent that. This is our x1, and this is our y1. And of course, our slope represents our m. So let's go ahead and fit it into the formula. The formula begins with y minus y1. Notice that our y1 is 9. So we're going to say y minus 9. I'm going to set that equal to m, which is our slope, so negative 2 fifths times x minus x1. Now, notice that the x1 is a negative number. And in the formula for point slope, we have a minus sign in our formula. So we're actually going to be taking minus a negative, which is actually going to change this operation to a plus. So it'll be plus 5. And that's it. You've just written this information in, into an equation in point slope form. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. We have a point and we have a slope. So let's go ahead and write, this is going to rec be recognized with our x1 and this is going to be our y1. And let's go ahead and pop it into the formula. y minus y1 is equal to negative one times x plus three. You could also write this equation a little bit differently and let me show you how. You could also write it like this. y minus 0 is equal to negative x plus 3. And that means that the slope is negative 1. It's just writing it a little bit differently. Okay, now let's go backwards. Let's go ahead and now let's extract the coordinate out of this formula and the slope. The slope is pretty easy, I always find. I always usually pull that out first. Our slope here in this equation is going to be negative 5. And the coordinate is a little bit harder. You gotta do a little bit of thinking. Remember, the first part of our coordinate represents our x1, and then the second part is our y1. So the x1 is gonna be recognized by this piece over here. So notice, again, the formula says a minus sign, and so we didn't change that to a plus sign here, so our x1 is going to be um, two. Our y1 is over here, and notice that the uh, operation, uh, the minus from the formula turned into a plus. That tells us that our y1 is going to be negative 6. And that's it. You've extracted out the slope and the point from um, our formula. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go ahead and pull out the slope. The slope here is going to be negative 2. And then let's go ahead and extract the point. Remember, the point is going to be x1, y1. So if we pull out the x first, that's going to be a positive three. And if we pull out the y second, that's gonna be positive eight. All right, now that we've learned a little bit about the formula itself, let's go ahead and talk about what this actually looks like graphically. So here we have an equation in point slope form. And there's a couple different ways that you can actually graph this on the coordinate plane. Let me show you both. The first, the first method, which is the most popular method, is to actually transfer this equation into slope-intercept form using your literal equation skills. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing I'm going to do is distribute 1 half into the quantity x plus 2. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have negative 1 half x minus 1. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I want to add four to both sides because again, I'm trying to get it into slope intercept form. That leaves me with y equals negative one half x 
plus three. Now that I'm in slope intercept four, it's a little bit easier to put on top of the coordinate plane here. So let's go ahead and do that. Our y-intercept is positive three, so I'm gonna go ahead and graph that. And then our slope is negative one half. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in that slope there. I'm gonna extend my line with my coordinates as far as I can across my coordinate plane. I'm gonna draw a nice line with arrows extending in both directions. Okay, now that's one way that you could do this. Let me show you another way. Remember that this formula is called point slope form, right? So we can use that technique of extracting out the slope and the point to graph it that way. So let's go ahead and try that. We could go ahead and extract the slope. We see that that is gonna be negative one half and we can go ahead and extract that uh, point, which is going to be negative two and positive four. So let's go ahead and take that information and graph it. I'm gonna graph it right on top of the blue line. So I, I have a point of negative two, four. That's about right here. We're gonna start at this point. I see my slope is negative one half. So I'm gonna go ahead and graph it that way. So you can actually graph your point and your slope um, by extracting it right out of that equation. And again, you'd go ahead and connect those lines with arrows at the end. So the point is, the point slope form of a linear equation creates a linear equation on the coordinate plane. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, using the provided information, determine the equation of the line in point slope form. Now we're gonna kind of think about this. We're given some information here, and we want to actually put it into point slope form. Look at this first one. Isn't this slope intercept form of a linear equation? What we wanna do is transfer it into a different form. And to do that, we need two things. We need a point and we need a slope. So looking at slope intercept form, do we have a point and a slope? Well, the slope is pretty easy to see. The slope is pretty easy. The slope here is three, and we just got that right out of our equation. The point is a little bit harder to see, but if you think about it, isn't the y-intercept of a line a point? Isn't that going to be, that's the b, right? So that's gonna be zero, negative two. And, and we know that because that's where the y-axis, or the y-intercept is on this graph. So given this information, let's go ahead and write it in point slope form. So remember, this is my x1 and my y1. So I'm going to say y plus two is equal to three, oops, sorry about that line there, three times x minus zero. And we're done. Sorry about the little space there. But there is your equation in point slope form. And the point of this is showing you that you can write the same exact line in either slope intercept form or point slope form and if you graphed either one of those, it would be the exact same graph on the coordinate plane. Let's try another one. In this example, we're given two points and we're asked to put it, um, to determine the equation of the line in point slope form. Remember, when you have two points, you can determine a slope. So let's go ahead and think back to our, uh, the first section of this unit where we talked about slope and the slope formula. Remember, we can do that by saying, well, this is x1 and this is y1, and this is x2 and this is y2. And I'm gonna say that m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And we can go ahead and simplify that down to two over eight, which is equal to one fourth. So one fourth is our slope. Now that's not our answer, that's just our slope. Now think about this, point slope form. Do we have a point that we could use here? We do, we actually have two. So that means we could actually write two equations if we wanted to. I usually like to write the equation with the point that's a little bit easier to work with. Usually the one that doesn't have any negatives is a little easier. So let's go ahead and write it in point slope form using that point that I just circled. So we have y minus zero equals one fourth 
times x minus 4. Now, if you didn't want to use that point, you could have also written it using the first point. I'll go ahead and do that as well. y plus 2 is equal to 1 fourth times x plus 4. And we're done. So either one of those answer choices is perfectly fine. What, it, what that's saying is that these two um, lines here are the exact same line. Um, we just use, remember there's multiple different points on the line, so we just recognize two different points on that line in these two equations. All right, that brings us to the end of our lesson on point-slope form.